Welcome back. This is M Dog. I am um, excited to be getting some time in in our Fisher Online leveling series. Please let me know how the audio levels go this uh, this video, specifically the audio levels of me talking, because as I turn my head this way I'm curious if the levels get way too quiet or if the mic is currently close enough to pick up everything that I'm saying clearly so please let me know either way welcome back I'm so excited about uh, getting to do this first let's do some checking of quests we know that here in Germany and at our pond it'll just be standard catch a certain amount of weight 23.9 kilos here and um, the pond is 5.5 kilos but what I'm more interested in are the two DLC maps now I don't know how to catch rainbow smelt but that might be something fun we could try might be something fun we could try Arctic to mules it's not a guarantee that we'd be able to get that. That's a lot of weight on the Arctic to Mules. But we could try. I was kind of wanting to go try Bream there anyway. Honestly. All right, so real quick, let's check what the current quests are here. All right, nothing that I see that like stands out. So let's first travel back to the pond. Let's at least do the Taily quest here. It's just too good, right? It's too easy, and we get that token and a little bit of silver experience. It's just a no-brainer. I also secretly want to keep working on trying to get silver medals on some of the pond fish, you know? By the way, thank you for all the feedback I've gotten. I know uh, at least two or three of you have said that you would be interested in joining the club. So um, I appreciate that. And I will keep people up to date. When I have enough silver to start the club, we will look at doing that. All right. I want to try a sweet dough mix with caramel, maybe. Let's try caramel. Uh, it's a lot of silver, but honestly, it's, it's so fun to me to experiment with this different stuff. All right. So if we're doing... All right, so let's think about this. What time of day is it? That's fine. All right, so if we're doing sweet dough with caramel dip, what kind of, all right, tench crucian, caramel dip, We'll still use oat flakes? Question mark. What if we did try something different? Just, again, just for variety. What was another one that we thought looked reasonable besides oat flakes? Um, we want to use peas in our bream mix. That's for sure. I think breadcrumbs. I think breadcrumbs. Let's try breadcrumbs. All right, so we're making this with caramel dip, breadcrumbs, and I'm still thinking bloodworms. Nothing else has raised to the level of making me think it would be better. All right, so let's try it out. I'm just going to try in this spot for now. All right, so we want large one hooks with the...
Caramel sweet dough. Somebody said... Somebody said something about me having my clip on 15 meters on all my rods. How do I tell that in this game? Clips is X. Alright. I didn't mean to throw it that far. Like, we, there's no reason to throw it that far. At least not quite, I don't think. Wait, hold on. So if I do this... Oh, that's clipped at 28 meters. So it tells you where how far you threw it. Alright, 28 meters. That's cool. Can, I wish you could see... Like, I want to know from here... Oh, wait. That is showing... Oh, that's beautiful. That's showing the marker distance from where I am right now. So 30 meters gets into the deep part. Do we want to be more like at 20 meters? I just have a feeling if we could get into this not quite the deepest part, that might even be better. Like around 20, let's see, from here it'd be more like, yeah, like 20 to 22 meters. Uh, what are we throwing? On this one, so on the middle one, let's go with the pearl barley. All right, let's see if we can get this. Let's guess right. Let's see if we can just nail it. 26 meters. 23 meters. 22 meters. I like it. We're going to put this at 22 meters. We're going to see how fishing at 22 meters from this spot goes. None of this just throwing all over the place. Don't really know where we're, where we're casting. We're going to get a little more scientific. Using new baits, new ground baits. Let's give it a try. Is that a roach? It is. We ought to go ahead and accept our daily quest. We don't want to do eyed, right? Now we may catch silver bream here. Are there any baits that we would just love to have? Not unless we were doing an income quest at the same time. That golden crucian quest is cool, getting that sea live bait, but <clears throat> whatever. All right, let's see if we can get this at 22 meters as well. Oh, that's 20. I actually don't mind 20 there, to be honest. All right, let's see what the first fish on pearl barley is. Also a roach. All right, it's still clipped, so it should stop at the clip, right? Yep, it did. This is clipped at 20 meters. We'll leave it there. Did I mess up the um, autocast? What does redrop mean? Is that the same thing? Oh, it is. All right, so it's redrop. I think I think my mouse wheel just isn't working anymore in terms of like pushing it in. Any ideas on why that would be? Anybody have any suggestions? 
So it's not, it seems like it's not the game. It seems like it's my mouse wheel. All right, do we ever... I, um... I actually kind of want to go back to... What was the Semolina? What did we use with Semolina? We did vanilla. I want to make some of this up too. I liked this one. But we're going to try it with the new... Um, the new ground bait. Let's see where that is. 21. Couldn't ask for... A better cast there. It's perfect. So now we've got three different dates, date, uh, dates, three different baits, two does and one pearl barley. All right, there's a crucian. Look at this bite rate right now. Now the fish quality isn't there. That could be time of day though. a little better on the pearl barley this might be a large silver if it's a silver bream now when we had those really good moments fishing in this spot it was in the evening and overnight it just simply might be a better time of day that's a nice golden crucian though not quite large but still a nice one and we're over halfway done with our our daily. What are we at silver wise? We're back down to 89. We definitely need to build up, but remember we spent 600 silver on a carp rod and reel at Germany. Is that an eyed? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's going to be a nice one, whatever it is, I think. Unless it's a common carp. <laughs> Just about anything else, it's going to be nice. Oh, come on. Really? How are you going to do us that way? All right. I may not even cast this one back in. We're about to finish our daily. And uh, I think I'm ready to go explore some, some new things. I would love to just keep fishing the pond. And we might, again, we might spend some episodes just trying to hit more of these silver fish on the pond. Oh, it's a nice eyed, actually. It's a decent little eyed spot, it seems like. Yeah, all right, we finished it. All right, let's see if we can catch a couple more fish uh, while we're looking at... We definitely want to turn that into fish offals and definitely want to turn that into fish pieces. Uh, I should have checked quest first, make sure nothing new popped up here. It didn't. Yeah, we're good. Let's sell these fish, see if we made like, I don't know, 20, 30 silver? Maybe 40, 20, yeah. Because we didn't have any large fish, right? It was all... The ones we kept or didn't turn into bait were all kind of that standard. Ooh, this is small. This is a little fella. Yeah, so I'm not sure about our new dough, although this wasn't the right time of day to test it, right? This probably, what we could have done, although it would have delayed finishing the quest, this time of day, it might have been better to just... Um, 
what am I trying to say? Oh, like catch, I don't know, like little small fish at the surface, like try to hit a, a silver rated gudgeon or something and then fish for this stuff once we got to um, afternoon, evening. All right, I think I, I think I want to go to NSA first. And we'll see how this goes. We might go to Thousand Islands and do that one too. But I think we want to go to Siberia. What was it? The Amuls? Let's check the records on those. This might not be a good idea in terms of the daily. But I at least wanted to test the bream, right? Ooh, I didn't get... I guess it's free to travel. I didn't get anything to make bream ground bait. All right, Arctic to Mules. Let's see what the... Um... Let's see what the records for a Mules, like get an idea of what they're coming in on. Yeah, I was thinking mayfly larvae. And they're big, but they're not so big that we... Like we should be able to handle that. Eight kilo. It's actually six on the reel, though, isn't it? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be a little tough. We can try it. So, like on this one, we would put mayfly larva. Just on one. And I guess we could use Lucky Fishing instead of making green ground bait. Although I would love to make some green brown ground bait. Where could we get that? What time of day is 1146? We could go right back to the pond and make some green ground bait, right? Because I don't think I have... Like, I think there's a separate, um, oh, I guess we ran out of the Crucian stuff. Maybe it only has two, for ground bait it only has two. All right, let's go see. We've got enough silver, we should be able to make some green ground bait. I should have picked it up first, but I mean, it just cost us a silver. Mostly what it cost us is the time. The other thing we want to make sure is that we do have a, quite a few peas. So we have 148. All right, where is the bream? Here it is. So it's only 24. And then we know we want Probably the ground pea stuff. Ooh, it's expensive. Let's don't think about it. And then we'll put peas into it, right? Let's see if this works. All right, use that. Oh, we should get a dip. Well, we, we think that garlic works okay. Usually, uh, Bream don't mind garlic. And now that's where we just put more peas in there. All right. Yeah, that looks like that looks like what um, Breen ground bait is supposed to look like in this game. I think. All right. Now we're going with peas. Is it okay if we have the two different types of ground bait that close to each other? Or do we need to have the same stuff? It doesn't make sense for what we're fishing for with this one. I just don't know if this messes it up. I guess we could like separate it a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, we can try that. We'll just see how it goes. We'll put the two bream rods like pretty close together and the whitefish rod a little separate. And honestly, we're just gonna see if we can catch whitefish on it. This might be slightly too small of a uh, um, setup to go for whitefish, but I think it's worth trying just to see. I don't think there's any way we ever hit white salmon. All right, let's go get, let's get our rods in the water. Then we can look at fish and stuff, but it's a little bit of a drive. We're going to go try the, the other Island. So the Island that's up here, I've certainly fished for bream off of that Island a good bit. I want to try this one down here and then, um, kind of see how that goes. I'm wondering if Bream have maybe been adjusted a little bit. They used to be so strong here that part of me just wonders, like, have they been nerfed a little bit? But I don't know that for sure. If some of you have been playing more consistently over the past year or since this place came out, what do you think? Have they been adjusted? You know, I know there was a time where with Peas and or Leech, you could come fish for bream, at least at the other island, the one that's like further south. And it wasn't unusual to get, you know, two to three trophies in an hour, maybe sometimes more. You wouldn't always hit them, but you would hit them enough. And so it ended up being a good bit of XP, like really good silver. And you don't need that good of gear for it. All right, so we basically want to set up right here. We're still clipped at like 20 meters or whatever, but I actually think that's possibly about where we want to be casting anyway. Like this isn't a really long cast, it doesn't seem to me. We're not wanting to go like to the next level, we're just wanting to go like out in front of us. Okay, so fish on lake, white salmon. No, what was it? Yeah, white salmon. Shiner live bait, that's interesting. But look, these are huge. We would never get one of these fish in with our current gear. All right, the other thing I want to do is go ahead and get the boat set up, especially for rod one. I think there's a reasonable chance that we could hook into something that might be pretty hard for us to get in. All right. So let's see how it goes. I think that the idea that we're going to catch 18.4 kilos of Arctic Amul, that's crazy sauce. But you never know. So I figured, hey, we'll go ahead and accept it while we do this bream experiment. Notice it's the middle of the day, right? But in Fisher Online, unlike Russian Fishing 4, at least in my memory, if my memory serves me, sometimes you can catch bream almost 24 seven in this game. Maybe there's certain times of day where they do get a little bigger, a little bit uh, more likely with the trophy, but peas seem to be the way to go, but sometimes leech have worked pretty good as well in the past, at least. I guess we could look are all the records right now on peas. I'm like, did they take Bream off the map? Seriously, why don't I see Bream?
All right. Bream are still here because we just caught one. In fact, that is a nice one. It's going to be good silver. All right, here's the moment of truth. What's on our whitefish line? What is going on with it? Nothing, I guess. I need to stay on top of checking the quest, though. Oh, there we go. And I think Bream come up in silver a good bit as well. All right, there we go. All right, what do we got here? I guess the other thing we could do is we could do a size zero hook and then only try to catch the small white fish. I don't know. Like undersized stuff? Doesn't seem as fun though. If we could keep catching stuff this weight, this is perfect. Uh, what is that? P.S. So you're saying there's a chance. If we really want to go for that daily, at some point we got to switch at least two of our rods towards the emuls instead of having two towards the bream, right? I just think that the, the bream are going to be a better bite rate and probably overall better for us in the sense that past the fact that we could get that daily done, we can get, get these bream in one after another. It's not that far of a cast, and they're, um, at least they used to be worth really nice silver. Like, maybe, like, I would think these would be, like, 20 to 30 silver apiece, these large ones. I could be remembering wrong, though, so we'll see. Oh, we could use those towards the quest, but we also could wait, because maybe we catch, like, a, you know, an undersized one, and just put, throw that towards the experience quest. Remember, we can do it any time from our net. I think if we catch any green ones instead of the large ones, we'll just accept those because they're not worth near as much silver, probably half as much. Whew. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just keep it coming. That's actually the biggest one yet, 1 1.8. I'm pretty sure the Siberian Bream trophy at two kilos. Like we're not even that far off trophy, right? And if you didn't see our Bream ground bait is garlic, peas, and ground peas. I might change the garlic. Uh, but since we already had it, and I didn't want to spend a ton more silver. In fact, we might not have even been able to afford another, like a different dip. We need to watch our level too. I mean, I think we're getting a good bit of experience for every one of these. So we're going up to 18,000. Let's see what the next bream we catch is worth.
I wish there was a way in starting the club. I wish there was a way we could, whoever wanted to start the club, that we could all chip in. You know? We could have our founding members that all chipped in towards the club or something. But I just don't know how that would work because... I don't know. Maybe the, the whoever starts the club has to purchase it. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how it works. We might have to ask somebody that knows more about the inner workings of the game. That is one thing I'll say about Fisher Online. It's grown in complexity really fast over the years, right? Or the months even. Um, but there's not always been like the best tutorials or information about how things work. I felt that even in some of the events, like the cards and the some of the event stuff, you have to dig pretty deep and like really ask around to figure out like, okay, how is this working? We're two for two on the Amuls, but we need like, we're only at 1.4 kilos out of 18. Like I think even if we used all three trying to catch those Amuls, we still might not get there before I run out of patience and want to switch it up and go do something else. So I'll keep my eye on it, but I'm not really thinking that daily is a realistic option for us. Yeah, that's what we ought to do. We ought to throw out bark beetle larva just one time at least and try to catch, you know, a pellet or something. There are some like white fish that like those bark beetle larvae out here. But let's look a little more closely at some of the records to figure out, make sure we're not going to hook into something that's going to be too big for us. But I remember using bark beetle larva out here some as well. I, th I think overall I like the what we're using better, but... Oh yeah, humpback whitefish. So you start catching, and that one's worth 1,500 XP. We only need 18,000 for the next level. I, I, to me, this, this map, especially if you're a low-level player, or you know, low to lower mid-level player, you've got just your basic feeder setups, and you have access to the DLC, you choose to buy into the DLC, this place is terrific. Oh, oh, Pellet, hold on. That's some good income. Yeah, I'm gonna take it just in case, because we might switch to that. So let's look at Pellet again. Lar larva Bark Beetle. And even the biggest ones wouldn't be impossible to get in. So I think next next whitefish, we switch to pellet. Let's just look around, though. We've got pellet. We've got togan. These are tiny. If we go to zero hook with, like, mayfly or the mayfly larva, we probably could get a togan. Lake whitefish. See, this is the kind of stuff we're nervous about. If we hit one of these on our mayfly larva, that's probably GG. Like, it's going to be four or five kilos we're going to be chasing it in a boat for a while. Who knows? I don't know if we'd ever get it in. Uh, Muxin. I wonder if you ever kept, catch Muxin on, um, on any of the feeder baits. The biggest ones, maybe not, but that doesn't mean you can't ever do it. Ooh, Linux. That would also be cool. But again, are these large two hooks, or can you get these on large one? It may just be a matter of time till we get destroyed on our setup right now. Burbit, of course, we don't want to go for yet. Arctic char, salmon row, but again, way too big. 
at least on the larger side. White salmon, we know that's too big. Sturgeon, we'll stay away from sturgeon for a long time. But I think we could try out bark beetle larva, see if we can't hit a pellet. And then we could go to a zero hook, maybe try to hit a togan while we're out here. Although they may be in the shallower areas as well, but we could try it. Do we have mayfly larva? Sorry, mayfly? Mayfly are cheaper than the mayfly larva, so if we have some, it might be worth. Let's look at the XP. It's going to be another large bream. 619. Oh, it's a regular size. Uh, for now, I'm going to take without quest, but that's probably one we end up putting towards that experience quest. Probably. So we can still go in and hit the quest button. We're so close to level 12 already. I think it's 15 that goes to the fly fishing spot and it goes to the next carp map. At some point we do have to sort of settle into doing some good carp fishing at Germany, but I just feel like I'm in no rush. I'm having so much fun. I love carp fishing in this game, don't get me wrong, but I'm having so much fun going for some of the smaller, smaller to mid-sized stuff. And the pond, it's been surprising how, just how fun the pond has been. So I think the, the Tugan on the Mayfly would be the, let's check real quick to see if we have Mayfly. We do, we have, we have a few. So we could try that on a zero hook and see if that leads to anything. All right, this might be a smaller one as well. I don't know, it's borderline. This will be right between regular and large, I would think. I'm, t I'm kind of tempted to just go ahead and apply these. Oh, we need one more. I was like, why didn't it go off? We need one more because it's a certain amount of weight. One more will do it though. I really want to catch another white fish here because I want to I wanna do our our pellet experiment before it gets nighttime. I, I don't know when pellet are active, you know? What was the thing on uh, the USA? Thousand, the thousand islands we were gonna try? I, I, don't, I don't remember if I've ever targeted rainbow smelt. <laughs> it's a long shot. They're small though, right? So it's just a matter about seeing what the baits are that they like and then just going for it. Hopefully it's a bait we have, I guess. Or know where to get it. Smelt. I wonder, I think this, um, we'll see if they're on this Google Doc or this. Um, uh, it doesn't look like they are. Uh, regular smelt are fish pieces and salmon row for regular smelt. So I don't know. I don't know about that. All right. This is slowing down a little bit. Again, I think it's probably the time of day. I'm gonna go to all of our comments.
Yes. All right, we can switch to... The only thing I'm trying to figure out is, do we want to go zero hook? Maybe we'll start on one and see if we can get a smell, uh, um, a pellet that way. But if we don't, we'll switch to zero on the bark beetle larva. What is this? It's another Amul, but it's a nice one. Oh, it's a white fish. Sorry. It's a white fish. Thankfully, a small one. All right, so we want to try Larva Bark Beetle. Kind of in the same spot, though. Uh, we should have waited. This is an even smaller bream, I think. Oh, no, no. We do need another one for the quest. That's actually perfect. We'll go a little bit longer on bream, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about switching over and just, you know, doing some experiments with other stuff soon and then we'll get out of here i mean we've kind of we've got some nice fish I'd be curious to see how much they sell for that'll be good info for like next time i could see like spending some time grinding it out on this spot if those um so am i wrong about No, it is. Okay. That is how far away it is. Cool. So it shows the coordinates, how far away from you, and the depth, or approximate depth, I guess. Right? It's pretty cool. I think you can only see that with premium, though. So, prod BYPJ? was talking about TFO helper. Oh, what am I doing? Type it on the wrong keyboard again. Let's see if that pulls anything up. Trying to pull TFO helper up, see if it works. All right, so. Um, this has really slowed down, right? All right, I'm gonna pull another bream line out of the water. Oh, you know what? When we lifted it, it drifted way down, I think. All right, let's put Lucky on. And let's go to a zero hook. Let's go Mayfly for now. And we're gonna throw it away from our, our bream spot. Let's see what if anything that does. 
Ooh. It's going to be a nice one. Maybe. Certainly going to be a large one, right? Is it a trophy, though? Oh! What are improvement tokens? If I release this, I get three improvement tokens. We're not going to, though. I need to find out what those are and why I would want to do it. So if anybody knows, let me know. We, we just got halfway to level 13 with that fish. Holy cow. Is that our first trophy? Hey, we got a two gun. What's up? All right. So let's put bark beetle larva on this one as well. See if either one of these can catch a pellet. All right, Siberian Bream. Trophied it. And there's Tugan. We got Tugan now. Is there anything else we could possibly knock off out here that we can actually handle? Probably not. All right, maybe this will be our pellet. If this is our pellet, I think we can start packing it up. As much as I'd love to stay here, I think we just keep moving, having fun, doing weird stuff. This is not a pellet, by the way. How did a roach get this far out? Go back to your home, roach. Look at that trophy. Oh. I love it. Come on, pellet. I mean, we can do pellet another time. I, I, we don't have to wait super long. That was a nice trophy bream, though. I'm so anxious to see what the different bream sizes are worth. I guess we don't have a normal size anymore to look at, but I think it's about half the size, half the value of the large, if I remember correctly. Really pretty map. I mean, considering this was on a zero hook, this is a really good sized fish.
I think it's a pellet. What else would it be? This big on bark beetle larva? <gasps> it's a baby sterlet or something? On bark beetle larva, size zero hook? Anything is anything is possible out here. We could get totally destroyed. Oh my goodness. Back to backers. Wow. Who knew? I certainly didn't. Well, we knocked Sterlet off the list. It's scary, but we did it. All right, so let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and cancel these out. Eighty-three silver for the trophy. Yeah, I, this is even better than I remembered. So if it's a large Siberian bream, over thirty silver. Those sterlet, seventeen twenty-seven. The Arctic Amul is only twelve point three six, but still not bad. We're up to three hundred thirty silver. I like it. All right, let's go. Just mess. <laughs> Let's see what happens on this Thousand Island. Now, this might not be a fish that bites overnight, so we're getting a little low on time. But we'll see. We'll just, like, see if we can get them to bite right here where kind of where you spawn. If we don't see them, we'll go do our daily at Germany or something just to get a little bit more... A little bit more time in. All right, so Rainbow, I think the first thing we want to do is just see what do they bite on. Bloodworm. Beautiful. Let's try it. Is it just not showing up? Oh, there it is. All right. Um, let's just try like right over here. I'm going to take the clip off because we're going to go really short here. That one we're not going to even put ground bait on. All right, let's see if this is a smelt. Golden Shiner. All right, any other quest that's worth picking up with this? Do we think we're ever going to catch these on there? I mean, if, it, if we do, we can grab the quest, I guess. All right, let's see what's out here in the deeper water. Straight ahead. Yeah, Golden Shiner. Uh, I am wondering if the smelt... Like, we might end up wanting to try it on, um, on float, maybe?
Oh, we can turn those into live bait. I think we always do that. I doubt they're worth anything, you know? So maybe we try... There wasn't anything else that they bite on, right? Looks like it's all bloodworm. But you do wonder if, if you did like float as shallow as possible, would that be a thing? Let's, let's just give everything another minute here, see what, see what's coming in. I'm gonna try it just for a moment. It's like we are just in a shiner, a farm here, it feels like. By the way, how much are shiners worth on the auction house? Are they on the auction house? I guess not. Oh, our, wait, is there mail? Yes. Did our, I mean, it kind of looks like our um, auction might have sold. Did we just auto get the, um, did we just auto get the, the, the winnings? Oh. <gasps> Uh, okay. I'm wondering if we're ever going to catch it on feeder. Like we just immediately got it on float, right? Yeah. Do we have something else we can use? Ugh. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. But it might be worth it if there's a chance. A large golden shiner. Man, I've got to take a bio break really bad. That coffee. I'll be right back. I think it would be totally worth getting another like inexpensive but reasonable come on but reasonable uh, float rod here ooh so we did catch a yeah let's do it If they sell them here, if they don't sell them here, I guess we'll just, and I don't know, again, at least we're figuring out how to do it, but, oh, they don't sell them here. So these Shiner live baits are 10 for 60 silver. How much do the blue ones, the large ones sell for? 1.86 silver. It's always going to be worth turning those into baits, I think. 
because those kind of baits are going to really help us. Uh, that's not a smelt. We might need to get out of this like shiner farm area that we're in. Is that going to be a crappie? No, bluegill. That was the quest. Maybe we even go deeper? Nah, I don't know. Wasn't that the quest yesterday? And maybe we should try over here. Maybe the shiners aren't on this side as much. Oh, we got a smelt on feeder. Wait, so what's more likely, feeder or float? I might reset up a feeder over on this side too. I mean, you need so many smelts to hit that order. Like there's no way we're getting there, right? But the good news is we're getting um, Shiner live bait. I I'm serious, and that's gonna help us, like especially when we're trying to target weird stuff. It's gonna totally be helpful. I can feel it. They may not be nighttime at all, right? Watch out. Watch out. Do they have any cheap lures here or are they all like ridiculous? Uh, I don't really wanna. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're good. It's not, it's not where our focus is at this point. But that was pretty cool that we just caught one.
Might catch some little bass over here. The crappie bluegill stuff. Still nothing, huh? All right. Fish pieces. And might as well sell the rest and let's go do our Germany thing. Let's go do our thing in Germany. 10 more silver, we'll take it. All right, so we want to cancel that. And, oops. Travel to Germany. How much silver do we have? I wonder if we can finish putting together our carp rod and reel, even if we don't use it for carp, which we could use it for carp, but we also could just like be a little braver if we have one stronger rig, a little braver and stuff that we do target. I think we start, um, when we're in the mood, we start focusing in on the Germany... Um, Bronze, right? Okay, so we have 339 silver. We need line still, and I think we were going to go with this line. So that's 250. And then we need 40 gram that, and 18.4, close enough, right? Isn't that what we decided? It's close enough? Let's live on the edge. Let's live on the edge. Where is our big boy? All right, so here we go. Here. Here. All right. Big reel. Big line. Oh, we don't have one of those yet. An indicator? Is that what we're missing? Is that what we're missing? Or is there more? Okay. Let's think about what we want to go for here. We still need to catch shrimp on fish pieces. So we could just go set up somewhere and try that. Xander on bait fish. Using bait fish might not be a bad idea on our new setup. Let's see if that works. Um, what's our biggest hook? Three. So we want to use a two and bait fish. All right, where do we want to fish? I'm thinking down in one of these spots down here. And then we'll just have to decide what we want to try on our third rod. I don't know if shrimp are going to bite at night, but maybe they will. We could also try eel, maybe. No idea where eel would be. I think I'm going to go all the way down to two. Two better than one? Or do we just go to one? Let's just try one. Put that bait fish out there. We'll just see if anything happens. And then on this one, we want to go fish pieces. Um, just right in front here. I think the main thing we're hoping is shrimp on that one, but we'll see. All right, what else might be nighttime fish? Obviously the catfish. I guess we could go for the catfish as well. Oh, bait fish. They might go for the bait fish actually. Now that it's nighttime, eel, bait fish as well. Okay, so bait fish has some potential. Barbatula is bloodworm, so we could just try bloodworm down here. That might not be a bad plan. We still need to catch a gudgeon before it gets 
too, too late. Do we just see if we can talk a gudgeon into biting? You know? You never know. Uh, we probably should bring a boat down here. I think we have to always be prepared for getting into trouble. So we have one carp set up now. We actually have one carp set up. We still need to get like boilies and you know, but we could start going for carp a little bit while doing other weird stuff. Are there bream here? I think there are. Oh yeah, and we've already caught some. That's right. Try to give it a little bit of time before we just start, you know, going for normal, more normal stuff. I think we caught gudgeon in the daytime at the pond, didn't we? All right, this is our shrimp, our hope for shrimp. Ooh, we got shrimp. Which means we can turn it into shrimp. Two shrimp tails. I don't know how that had two tails, but I'm not gonna complain. Uh, okay, what else might we wanna go for? We ever just, you know, go for eel on this one? Um, shoot. Did I miss it? Ah. Uh. Can we put, um, here's my question. Can we put bait? Oh, we can. Let's just go for broke for a minute here. Smaller hook with bait fish. Let's see what happens. This could be our catfish. A relatively small catfish. What is that? Roach or bre silver bream or? I just don't think it's worth it to take a chance on it. 
I'd rather just make sure we get whatever this is in. I mean, clearly that's not whatever it was we were going for here. A gudgeon? And we may actually get this in in time where we can still get that. Goodness. It is hard to pull whatever this is in. Makes me think catfish is possible. Yeah. Wait. Because there's no burbot here. Yeah, that's a total catfish. We got a lump card, whatever that means. Alright, there's the catfish. So now we go to size one and still bait fish, I think. So a little bit more weird location. Oh, let's catch this little bream or whatever it is. Oh, come on, Xander. Whoa. Come back with my bait. <laughs> Roach. Come on, be a Xander. Don't be like a micro catfish. Be a Xander. Ah. Can't figure out how to get this to work. All right, we threw it in the more shallow area. So did we dodge the catfish? Yeah, that's no catfish, right? Ah, that's a Xander. That's what we were hoping for. another one Yeah, it's another Xander. Maybe this isn't the right place for eel. Or maybe eel is just kind of rare or something.
We're on the Xander. Any chance we get a Xander quest? Ooh. Um. Do we have five kilos worth of Xander? One, two. I mean, we're getting there. Are we out of those baits? All right, what if we put a Shiner live bait in here? Just for fun. All right, if anybody uses this TFO helper, the next question is, how does it, is there a way to bring in, to, to show points or do you, or you have to create your own points? Does that make sense? All right, let's see. One, two, three, four and a half. We're like one Xander away from probably hitting that. So something went for these shiners. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Look at that. All right, so that takes eel off the list. What else we want to go for here? Surprise the grass pike doesn't go for the maybe during the day they would in certain spots. We just don't have crawfish tails yet. I think we can get those. Can't we catch crawfish at Germany maybe? Any chance those are at night? All right, what's the second fish on one of these shiners? I don't want to like burn through all the shiners, but Pretty cool that that got us an eel. Oh, I forgot the. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. It's another Xander. I think we can do the Xander quest now if we want. How sad are we going to be if we don't quite hit the Xander quest? I guess we just try to catch another one. How close are we? Oh, we did it. All right, we did it. Good, 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 good. What else do we want to try on our main line? The one we can be a little braver on. 
Um, I don't know if there is anything else. Honestly. We could just load it up for Bream. Let's see how Bream works here. Pretty deep. I don't know why it didn't show us the depth actually. Come on, we're looking for one of those little, whatever they're called, little rare fish. Um, how long are we on this episode? Whoa, we're way long. Holy cow. All right, let's just try to finish off the daily here. I will always take more bait fish, you know? I love hearing that sound. It's like, oh, that's not the same sound we normally hear. I think we caught a bream. All right, so to try to finish this up sometime, we've just got a few more fish that we need to target. Some of those will be easier once we get the like fly fishing stuff, specifically the trout, right? The trout and the brook trout, like we can probably figure that out with fly fishing equipment once we get it. Grass pike. We could possibly get lucky on one of those, even with our small spinning setup, just hopefully a small one. Um, grass carp. Technically, we could go for that with our new setup. Put some strawberry, whatever, boilies, and eventually catch one, most likely. Tench. I mean, during the daytime, you'd think we could catch a tench. Even if we're not using the, the bait that it's like the trophies are being called on or the biggest ones, we can use like cheese or even worm sometimes works on tench, it feels like. I mean, maybe we could get a tench, you would think. Again, just finding a good spot. And that starts to get us really close. I mean, we've had a good session here at Germany working towards this bronze medal. We've made real progress. This is not very big, but we don't need too much more weight to get our... If 
fact, I think one more of those and we're done. More bait fish. That's why I like catching those rough right now. This would be a fun map to go nighttime bream, daytime carp. Love to hear it. All right, let's get this little guy in first. Still hoping we're going to get lucky on one of these rare barbitsfuas, whatever they're called. That might be the booger on this map, trying to figure that out. Might have to ask help from the community. I don't know if there's a certain spot or time of day, or again, if it's just like one of those luck things. There might be a bait that they're more common on compared to... We're trying to get a blood worm, but there might be something else that's, that targets them better. You never know. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, we did not boom. I want to throw it a lot shorter. I, I bet we can catch these bream a lot closer in. Um, let's see if this, if they're even on this list. Oh, bark beetle, blood worm, maggot. Bark beetle, blood worm, maggot. But all three of those are going to catch other things too, you know? God, we're so close. A shrimp. Oh, we love to see that just because the bait. Yeah, so we caught one. This is an even bigger one, I think. And it, like, slightly bigger maybe. And it was closer in. Maybe it's not. It might be about the same size. Yeah, it's actually a little smaller. Beautiful. All right, big time hitting that quest. We're back up to 141 silver after, even after all the stuff we purchased. Um, blood worms maggots and bark beetle again just in case we can get lucky here for a second we'll try this Do we have any weird quests? No. No weird quest. Do we still need a gudgeon here? That doesn't feel like a hard one to get. Uh, but we sure enough have not gotten one yet. I think, I think that's going to be float at the surface during the daytime. That's what I think. Another little bream, isn't it? Sixty-four silver. That catfish seventeen. The eel and the bream nine. So even the small bream really add up. That puts us at two hundred and five silver. We will take it. Oh, 
Oh, this is what we should think about investing in a couple lures at some point. Like even one of these, try to get the um, the the pike that way maybe. Maybe we'll think about that next time. See, I would love to get some pickers. So so whenever we're going for the smaller stuff, even like Bream 5.2, that's perfect. Plus you get that 30% experience buff. I think we could hit Bream on these and really level them up. Yeah, they're 750, but the big scheme of things, like that's not too bad. And those could just be our dedicated anything that's going to come in at like three kilo and under. You know? We're going to always get a little bit more experience, and we know we're going to be using the same gear, so we're leveling it up. So, because um, right now, like this one, what does that mean? We're level 11 on this? But it's still early game, so um, where's that new one, our carp rod? We're level three. I don't know how to read this. I think that means we're level three. I'm not sure, though. Anyway, we're leveling these up as we use them. Okay. All right, as always... Thanks for watching. I'm not going to travel again because we'll see next time where we want to start and look at quests and all that. All right. Peace out. I'll see you next time. Tight lines, everybody.